What's up, everybody? This is Zips once again from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. Here we are back in Killing Floor 2. Now, uh, previously or after this, depending on when you watch them, uh, you may have already seen good 25 minutes of gameplay footage on the London Burning or Burning London map. And uh, what I'm going to do for this next series of videos is just take you through each class uh, that currently exists in this version of the game. Again, I'm going to stress that these are not complete. I do believe that there is more content and there are more perks and classes to come. So do not take this for final gospel here, so to speak. Uh, there's going to be more to come, but as it currently stands, this is what I uh, am able to take a look at in this game. So we're going to start things off with the field medic, which you probably might have seen me playing as already. And uh, obviously, when you select the field medic, you have various skills here. Uh, it is the healing class, obviously. Uh, you deal medic weapon damage and healing teammates in order to get more experience for this class. So basically, just play your class. Heal people when they need healed. Shoot people with their medic guns. That's you know, pretty simple. As you level up the medic class, you get these uh, specific bonuses here. Uh, the first one you're going to notice is a 40% increase in the syringe recharge rate. You get 8% per level. I am level 5, so that's 40% increase. Very, very useful for playing the harder difficulties because the syringe recharge rate is tied to all your weapons. And I believe they all have their own recharge rate, so you can quick swap to another weapon that might have already been recharged while you're waiting for your first one to recharge, so to speak. And you could heal your teammates as fast as humanly possible, so get good at medic, and you can heal more people faster, and you can get better at medic then. It's, you know, it just feeds off of each other. Uh, the next one here is the syringe potency. It is 2% per level. Right now, obviously, rank 5. I have a nice 10% bonus. And uh, I believe that's all that is. Just, you know, you uh, shoot somebody with a, a healing dart and it heals them for more than, say, if you were level 0. The third little perk here is the bloat bile resistance. You get 3% per level. And obviously, if the, the bloat just kind of throws up on you, it probably won't do as much damage. That's what I'm assuming that one means. I'm not sure if, if that affects the resistance to having your, your vision obscured when he throws up on you. I'll have to check on that, but as of right now, I don't think it affects that. Uh, the fourth perk here, movement speed. Uh, you get 1% per level. I haven't really noticed a change, but mainly because it's only a 5% difference from when I first started. Uh, you're already moving pretty fast at times, so 5% probably not too much, but once you get up and see, you know ranks like 15, 20, and 25, you're probably going to be noticing that difference. Uh, it is such a gradual change, though, so maybe you won't. Like, maybe you won't notice it until you switch to another class to see it. And finally, the main overall perk here. Now, all of these are, are, are just passive. You do not have to select them. They're automatically upgraded for you, and they apply 100% of the time. And uh, it's really nice to have, by the way. The final perk, as I indicated in the other video, the gameplay video, is the armor bonus. You get 3% per level for, you know, right now, 15% increase for me. Great, great stuff. And you can see down here, here's your starting loadout. Uh, there's, you know, not really a way to change that, at least not that I've seen just yet. But we'll, we'll go into configure, we'll take a look, look around in there. Uh, you do start with the medic pistol, the HM Tech 101 pistol. You also start with a 9mm pistol. You cannot get rid of the 9mm pistol, just as like it is on every class. You are stuck with the pistol, and you are stuck with the melee weapon. And for the medic class, that melee weapon is the scalpel. For the medic grenade, or rather for the grenade, you have a medic grenade, as I indicated before. It has a dual function. If your teammates are in the blue gas cloud, it heals them. If an enemy is in it, it poisons them and damages them. Really, really useful to have. Now, when you go into your skill set here, you'll notice that you have your choice of two skills per five levels. So at level five, you can either have Healing Surge, which allows you to put that medic knowledge to proper use, increase your health by 20%. Very useful to have. Or I can select Enforcer. Uh, enough focus on carrying. Increase your starting ammo capacity by 20% for your perk and backup weapons. So, if you want to be a battle medic, you can. If you would rather be better at healing, 
or survivability, well, you can you can do that as well. And uh, the cool thing about this is you can actually select these ahead of time. So you can have one active at a time and then, you know, swap to it for the next round or something. But you can also swap these in between rounds. Uh, I haven't really found a situation that was too useful just yet, but it's so early on that since I only have one skill to select from, I, I didn't really feel a need to uh, change that. Uh, but let's continue on here. Level 10, you have Combatant. Don't just be a medic, be the combat medic you always wanted to be with free starting body armor and a 60% discount on all armor purchases. That sounds to be really useful. Uh, whether or not you are a combat medic or not, just being able to survive a little bit, it's, uh, it's pretty nice. Or you can have Armament. And I know this is probably a little bit hard to read here because it's 720p for you guys. And the background's probably, you know, just a little, little sketch there for you. It's a little harder to read, but I'll read it for you. Armament. Don't just repair people. Lose 10% of your healing effectiveness on teammates, but repair 2% of their max body armor each time instead. So, that's an interesting trade-off there. I'm not sure how it would play out, especially on harder difficulties, but it would be pretty useful considering a lot of the initial damage in a round is made against the body armor. So, I mean, not, there's not too much healing to go on at the beginning of the round either. So I, I, would, I, I might actually try that one once I hit level 10. Once you hit level 15, you get your choice of regeneration. Dose yourself up. Your health regenerates slowly over time thanks to Horzine nanobots. That sounds pretty useful. Or lacerate. Watch it with that scalpel. You cause Zeds to bleed more after damage with all perk weapons. So you can have a you know damage over time with the lacerate. That's pretty cool. Huh. Anyway, moving on. Level 20. You have Vaccination under combat technician. Vaccination to help prevent the spread of death. Your healing grants increased max armor to teammates plus temporary resistance to bloat bile. Hmm, that's pretty cool. I haven't found a really bad perk yet or a better bad skill yet. Uh, these all sound really good and useful in certain situations, that's for sure. Or you could have the acidic compound, a healer to some, death to others. Now your healing darts can poison Zeds, and your grenades and darts sometimes cause Zeds to panic. Hmm. I already like the effect of the grenade on that, so I'd probably go with the acidic compound once I hit level 20. But, you know, again, situational uh, circumstances here. And then for rank 25 under advanced training... Zed Time, Airborne Agent. They say time heals. Your medic darts will form a healing cloud for your target and nearby friends to get 10% extra healing. Or Zed Time, Sedative. And time stands still. Medic darts and grenades release a Zed Sedative that can temporarily stop Zed movement. So there you have it. Those are the skills for the medic. Right now, I am uh, just... A lowly rank 5, but, uh, yeah. Let me see if I can just back out. Oh, there we go. Go back to perks. So, there you have it. That is the look at the medic. I'm going to be back to show you the berserker, the commando, and the support. Check those videos out. And, as always, this has been Zips for Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. And this has been a look at the field medic class from Killing Floor 2.